This is a new Teradek Bolt 6 series of wireless video transmitters. Cinity, your digital cinema tech resource, supported by B and H and CVP. Hi, I'm Nino from Cinity, and we're here at IBC 2022 in Amsterdam, and I'm here with Colin from Teradek. How are you? Good. How are you? Very well indeed. It's the busiest day of the show, and it's time to talk about some new stuff from Teradek. You guys just introduced the Bolt 6. Tell me what it is and what's new. Yeah, so we're really excited about it. Basically, um, the Bolt 6 allows 6 gigahertz spectrum. That's the big news. There's a few other features we could talk about, but the big news is that we're now offering the 6 gigahertz band. So many countries around the world are starting to open 6 gigahertz sp uh, spectrum for public use. And so this is going to be the first wireless video system um, that allows 6 gigahertz. Um, What's the advantage of using, of, of you know, transmitting the 6 gigahertz spectrum as opposed to the 5 gigahertz? Yeah, so 5 gigahertz has now become used so often on set in your router, your phone, your all kinds of different devices are all using 5 gigahertz. And so this means that that whole spectrum is really uh, highly trafficked. And so just like in a car, you're, you're trafficked, um, waiting in traffic, right? And so what 6 gigahertz allows is that now you're kind of taking the express lane or the, the lane that's not as trafficked, and so you're able to have um, better reception and uh, faster connection times for the TX and RX, and so potentially better image quality. So the Bolt 6, I think, replaces the Bolt 4K, right? So what what other, apart from the new gigahertz spectrum, which I think is only available in the beginning in the US and Canada, right? That's right. As of today, um, it's only available in US and Canada. Um, as other countries start to make it available, then we will have a free update um, that you can download and then have access to 6 gigahertz. Is the Bolt 6 backwards compatible if it transmits on a different spectrum? It, it is fully. Um, cross-compatible with Bolt 4K because they both use the BB3 chip. Um, but of course, you will have to put it in 5 gigahertz mode in order to work with the Bolt 4K. Okay. What, what other things are new as uh, compared to the Bolt 4K series? So the biggest thing is the Bolt, 4, uh, the Bolt 6 XT. Um, so that replaces the Bolt 4K. Uh, it's a whole uh, redesigned chassis, so it's going to be lighter and thinner. Um, and it's also redesigned fan system, uh, so it's going to be cooler um, to the touch and also quieter. Oh, that, that's a big one. I think a lot of people were not so happy about the noise of the Bolt 4K, so that's good to hear. How much quieter is it? Um, I think we're seeing about like 25% quieter, so that, depending on the situation. That's good, and it also doesn't get as hot anymore? Correct, yeah. So. Which, which means it uses less power, I'm assuming. Uh, no, it's because of the way we've redesigned it, yeah. In general, um, what about availability? When are you planning to ship all these? So all models, the XT, the LT, and the monitor module um, will ship in October. The monitor module is a flexible module that you can use with older small HD products too, or? Correct, any Smart 7 series, so that's the Cine, uh, Cine 7, Indy 7, and 702 Touch. Okay, great. Well, what else is there to say? I mean, is there anything else that differentiates them from the predecessors? Uh, the only other thing, on, the, on again, on the XT um, is really the one that's physically new. Um, it includes a 5-pin USB cable, or port, so that you can do wireless camera control with our uh, small HD Smart 7 monitors. One important thing to know is that the big difference to competing products is usually the latency, which means uh, you guys are the only ones who are able to have a very, very low latency because of the chips you use. Maybe you can explain why and also what the latency is. Yeah, so we have a, a patent on RF wireless video transmission um, through our company called Amimond. And so we have zero delay. Um, it's less than 0.1 milliseconds, um, which is zero delay. A lot of other companies uh, have um, systems, but they're Wi-Fi based. So they are going to have at least somewhere in the like 200 millisecond uh, latency at, at minimum. So you know, when you're on set, zero delay is really important for a focus puller or even a script supervisor. Um, so we're, we're continue to offer that with, with Bolt 6. Cool, very cool. Yeah, and that definitely is what sets it apart, especially 
for first ACs, I mean, everybody's using the Teradek. All right, let's talk about uh, pricing. Uh, you already mentioned availability, but where are we price-wise with the different uh, options? Yeah, so what we're really excited to say is that Bolt 6 is going to be offered at the exact same price as Bolt 4K. So all the models, same prices. And you know what those pricing is, just for people who don't know off the top of their head? Yeah, it'll range between the cheapest uh, iteration is our Bolt 6 LT HDMI is $19.90 uh, US, um, and then it goes up from there. Thank you, Colin. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to try these out. And thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned to Synity for a lot more from IBC 2022 and a lot of reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.